Hi, my name is Eleni Vakertsis. I'm a biology major with a psychology minor here at SUNY Oswego. I have chosen these fields in regard to becoming a future optometrist, but in order to do so, I have to enroll in optometry school. The visual I chose to interview is Dr. Alexandra Herrera. Dr. Herrera is an up-and-coming optometrist who has recently graduated from optometry school in May of 2017. I chose to interview her for that exact reason. She is a fresh, new, upcoming optometrist in the field, and she has more recent knowledge and experiences when it comes to entering the field, job seeking, and going through school. Recently graduated, she has more recent experiences opposed to someone who's been practicing for years. Unfortunately, Dr. Herrera was not able to hold a face-to-face -face interview due to her limited time in her schedule, but she has provided me with answers to my proposed questions. Below I will list the questions that I had asked Dr. Herrera, but the two that stuck out to me the most were, do you believe individuals should be a science major for this career path? And now that you're in that setting, the work setting, uh, do you believe you'll stay there in the future? Why or why not? His response to the first question was quite shocking to me. She had told me that, no, you do not have to be a science major to enter the field, but you do have to take the prerequisites. Those are always a requirement uh, for anyone, no matter what major you are, as long as you're entering the school, those prerequisites need to be met. Psychology major, that is more than welcome, as long as the prerequisites are met. Dr. Herrera also told me, and I agree with her, that it gives a sense of diversity to the school. If you are a marketing major, psychology major, so on and so forth, you're not like the others. You get to be separate from the others because you're not that science major. So after asking the first question, I found out that there is a quite versatility in the field, that you don't have to be a science major, you don't have to necessarily be a chem or bio major to enter the field at all. Dr. Herrera has two jobs, one at Lux Optique in Beacon, New York on Main Street, and another at Tri-State Eye Care up in Middletown, that's uh, downstate New York for all of us upstaters. Lux Optique in Beacon, New York is more of like a walk-in practice. She is not the only optometrist that works in that office. It's more of a walk-in storefront. There are glasses. There's only two other workers there. Uh, there's the optician as well as the front desk. I found this setting to be more lackadaisical than her other job, her other job at Tri-State Eye. Tri-State Eye is a group of optometrists as well as ophthalmologists. They work hand in hand together. So if an optometrist has a question, they can always ask their fellow ophthalmologist, vice versa, the ophthalmologist can act the, ask the optometrist as well. I believe this gives a sense of comfort when working alongside the ophthalmologist. Just in case there's something you're not sure of, you can always have that backup person there to either say you're wrong or uh, agree with you on your diagnosis. Again, I believe this shows a sense of versatility in the field. You can work alone alongside other optometrists as well as ophthalmologists. There can be two workers in your practice or there could be 15. It's really up to you and what works best for you. You can also work at a lens crafters or vision works, anything, any commercial like that you can. Therefore, the biggest thing that I would say that I learned about my proposed field is versatility. After asking Dr. Herrera if there was anything that she wished she knew, one applying to optometry schools, I learned a little something about myself from her response. About myself from her response. Dr. Herrera said that she wished she visited the schools upon applying. If she did that, she believed that she would have had a better idea of which school was the most suitable for her. Therefore, I learned that I'm doing the right thing by physically visiting the schools I wish to apply. I visited is the Chicago, Illinois College of Optometry, the New England College of Optometry, and SUNY Optometry. Asking Dr. Herrera what aspects of my background that she believes that I should highlight when applying to schools, I learned another thing about myself. That I should put an emphasis on my experience and less on my grades. Although, she did say that I should put an emphasis on my academic progress. Academic progress meaning my improvement from freshman year to senior year. She began to explain to me that improve improvement is a desirable characteristic. Therefore, I now know that I shouldn't hide my mediocre grades from my underclassmen years, but I should put an emphasis on them and the improvement that I have in my upperclassmen grades. Through this informational interview, I have learned many things about myself and about the career field that I have chosen, and I am very thankful for this experience. Although it was not a face-to-face -face interview, I am grateful that Dr. Herrera took out the time 
to respond to any of my questions that I had. Thank you, Dr. Herrera, 